Hello YouTubers, welcome to my new project Adino Powered Workbench Dashboard System. This is my setup. I have a 20 cross 4 LCD display. In LCD, I have date and time. Date is 23 3 2018 and time is 18 51, which is a 6 51 pm. And I have a solar voltage and battery voltage. Switch is used for controlling the variable voltage regulator. The knob is used for adjusting the voltage between 1.2 volt to 12 volt at maximum. This is powered by variable voltage regulator LM317. First switch is for turning on and off the LCD display. On top I have a reset switch by pressing that I can reset the Arduino. On next I have a buzzer. On bottom I have a 5 volt USB output for mobile phone charging and these terminals are for connecting solar panels and battery. In LCD, W indicates that water level of my overhead tank. Now my water level is 535 liters. My overhead tank having the maximum capacity of 1000 liters. This measurement is done with the help of waterproof ultrasonic sensor which measures the water from my overhead tank. Uh, as you can see the water level is floating between 535 liters to 565 liters. My water pump is pumping the water to the overhead tank. Water level measurement is done with the help of waterproof ultrasonic sensor. This ultrasonic sensor is fit on top of my overhead tank. My tank having the maximum capacity of 1000 liters. And I am using the LM2596 buck converter module. Advantage of using buck converter is we can directly convert 12 volt DC supply into 5 volt DC supply without making any heat dissipate. Instead of this buck converter, we can use 7805 voltage regulators also. 7805 regulators will waste the remaining power as heat. So this will drastically reduce the battery power. So we are not using 7805s in battery powered systems. Now you can see the water level have been increased to 594 liters. Within a 30 minutes my water tank will get filled. Now tank have been almost filled, it's 970 liters now. Within a second this will overflow. Yes, the buzzer rings because of what tank have been filled. Let's see inside of my system. This is the Arduino Nano and this is DS3231 RTC module. This terminal bug is used for connecting solar panel. The two resistors are for measuring the solar voltage. And second terminal bug is for connecting battery. And I have two resistors which are used for battery voltage measurement. These two voltage dividers are connected in Arduino Pro Mini's ADC pins. Next four terminal box are for connecting my ultrasonic sensor and this is the CAT65 network cable which is run through my overhead tank. This is the LM3170 variable voltage regulator. This is connected to the Arduino ADC pins through voltage divider circuits so I can measure the variable voltage from my ADC pins and this is the 20 cross 4 LCD which is connected with ribbon cable connects through the Arduino Pro Mini's digital pins and this is my overall system design this one is the waterproof ultrasonic sensor this is the sensor board and next one is the sensor module this is fit in the top of overhead tank this is the overhead tank on top of my house this is inside view of my overhead tank and here is my ultrasonic sensor fitted with the help of a PVC pipe that black surface is the ultrasonic sensor and that yellow wire is the ultrasonic sensor cable ultrasonic sensor is fit on top of the enclosure this is the inside view of my overhead tank so water level is almost uh, 100 liters sensor is fit with the help of a PVC pipe Sensor cable is sealed with the help of a PVC pipe. So I am closing my tank. 
and the sensor cables running underneath of my tank this is the bottom view of the tank on bottom sensor board is fitted with the help of water tight enclosure this is the plastic container this container is sealed by hot glue so water cannot get inside of this container this is the pvc pipe which acting as a sealed for the wire i am using cat 65 network lan cable which having the very minimum resistance so the voltage loss across this cable is very minimum this cable runs through my inside of home and it lengths around 7 meters on top of the tank to inside of my house and this is a sensor board which having the on board red led as you can see there uh, this is the bottom view of my overhead tank along with the dth dish antenna this entire system have been powered by 20 watt solar panel along with 12 volt 9 ah battery along with this i am using three watt led lamp as the load if there is no electricity from the solar panel then the led lamp will be automatically turned on it will be on until solar produces electricity again this is all my overall system design if anyone interested in this project if you want arduino coding you can contact me in my facebook page thank you all thank you for watching